Nvidia is currently worth more than Google and Amazon. Most people in the world have never heard about Nvidia. In a short time, it became a $3 trillion company by selling only GPUs. So how a company that sells only one product is one of the most valuable companies in the world? Let's explore how Nvidia in a short time became one of the biggest companies in the world. How they changed the world and what can we learn about Nvidia's way of doing business? Nvidia was founded by three friends, Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski and Curtis Priem in a Dennis restaurant. The three friends saw great potential in processing video game graphics. Now those three weren't regular guys, they had a good background. Jensen was a microprocessor designer at AMD and director of Coreware at LSI Logistics. Chris was an engineer at Sun Microsystems and Curtis was a graphics chips designer at IBM. They had the confidence and knowledge to go into this new venture, but even with this background, it was hard. In the late 1990s, there were 70 startup companies that had the same idea. Only two survived. One was ATI Technologies, which was acquired by AMD, and the other was Nvidia. Okay, but what does this processing video game graphics even mean? When you play a game, the images, the textures, the lights, the motion, even the sound, it all needs to be processed and brought to your screen. That's all possible because of a GPU. The game's graphics were 2D, and Nvidia wanted to bring 3D graphics to the gaming industry. Then a great opportunity came into Nvidia's hands. Microsoft made a collaboration with Sega. They announced a new console called Dreamcast. What's so special about this new console, except that it's made by two giant companies? Games were switching to high definition graphics. The console was meant to help switch gaming from 2D to 3D. Nvidia's great opportunity was to be hired as the company who would build the processors for Dreamcast. This is good. This could bring Nvidia millions of dollars if the console is successful, but something awful happened. They betted on rendering images using quadrilaterals. The decision was unpopular with game developers who wanted to use images rendered using triangles, which means people who made the games had no use for it, so the GPU was useless. Microsoft and Sega dropped Nvidia and used its competitor. What's even worse is that Nvidia burned tons of money for development of that chip, and they were a private company. They were near bankruptcy, and without the contract, they were done. Jensen went to the CEO of Sega and asked him for $5 million from that contract. Of course, he refused because Nvidia didn't deliver what they were meant to. But what's interesting is that the CEO decided to invest that $5 million into Nvidia. After that, Nvidia went up. They made NV3, which sold 1 million units in 4 months. They decided to go public. Their IPO was $12 per share. In 2000, Microsoft chose Nvidia to be graphic car supplier for the first Xbox. And 5 years later, Sony would hire Nvidia to make graphic cards for PlayStation 3. But what would bring Nvidia to the next level is a small thing that other processor developers ignored, but Nvidia believed in it. Three years after they made the graphic cards for PlayStation 3, something called Bitcoin was invented. We all know the story behind it and what happened with Bitcoin, but Nvidia saw an opportunity. They believed in crypto and people called miners popped up. These people would use computers to earn Bitcoin. To earn Bitcoin, the computer needs to solve hard tasks. To solve hard tasks, you need a strong GPU. Here comes Nvidia. Nvidia's GPUs could handle large amount of computational power. Sales from the crypto rush helped Nvidia pass Intel and market value in 2020. In the crypto gold rush, Nvidia sold the shovels. To make it easier for you how much money Nvidia made, just think that one GPU for mining is $47,000 and you need few. But after the crypto market crashed, Nvidia's sales crashed too. But few years before, they put a giant bet on a new industry that they hoped it would flourish. More than 10 years ago, Nvidia started to prepare chips for a new industry that was not so popular then, but today everybody in the world knows what it is. A lot of processing power is needed to perform hard tasks and use giant data. When AI started to rise, Nvidia supplied the AI systems with processors. In 2022, Nvidia debuts H100 chip for AI. This is still the best and most used AI processor in the world. 
This processor made NVIDIA worth over $3 trillion. When ChatGPT debuted, NVIDIA was worth less than $1 trillion. But in February of 2024, they crossed the mark of $1 trillion company. Same as Bitcoin. People realized if AI is the gold rush, NVIDIA sold the shovels. The best part is, it's hard to take them down. They charge twenty dollars to $30,000 for a chip. And the chips have high margins, so NVIDIA makes tons of profit. OpenAI, the owner of ChatGPT, spent $150 million on NVIDIA for ChatGPT. NVIDIA owns the market and they set the price. Microsoft, Meta, Google are starting to develop their own chips. Because everyone wants to save money, NVIDIA chips are really expensive. Audi, robots, Google, everything with AI uses NVIDIA. That brings the question, what does the future look like for NVIDIA? Billions are invested into startups that are aiming for NVIDIA's crown. But it will take them a very long time to take NVIDIA's crown. NVIDIA is decades above other chip manufacturers in the AI business. The biggest competitors, Intel and AMD, will get a slice. Intel is aiming for cheaper and AMD is making its own AI chip. The division that focuses on AI computation made 25% of NVIDIA's revenue in 2018 and in 2022 it made 56%. NVIDIA controls 80% of the market for data center accelerator chips and 90% of the chip market. So basically, they have a monopoly. The problem is supply. There is a huge demand and there is little supply. You can't make these chips in a day. Researchers use NVIDIA chips to simulate cell reactions to discover new drugs and create replicas of Earth to predict how climate change will play out. NVIDIA changed the world and created a whole new industry. Jensen jokes that he almost went out of business seven times, but surely he won't get out of business now.